there was a guy who is named Constantine Falberg. Yeah. He was working. He was a chemist. Mm-hmm. Uh, working in the labs at Johns Hopkins uh, under a guy named Ira Remsen. Yeah, Ira calls Constantine a jerk. He does, but not quite for the reasons that are displayed here. Right. Um, so uh, Falberg and uh, Remsen are working on apparently a substitute for coal tar. Yeah. That's all I could come across. That's what in I found. His quote, he was saying, like, I've made many discoveries in my search for coal tar, some of them accidental, and here's one. But he doesn't say, like, what I was doing was synthesizing chemicals in a search for substitute for coal tar. Right. So I'm not going to stand 100% behind it, but that's what I think, right? Okay. He uh, he said he was in a great hurry and left the lab without washing his hands. Apparently he wasn't wearing gloves or anything either while he was working in the lab with these chemicals that he didn't know what they were. Right. Uh, and he went home and he ate dinner. Right. Uh, and he was eating a piece of bread, and his bread was, like, really sweet. Mm-hmm. And he realized that that was weird, so he put the bread down and wiped his uh, hands and his mouth and his beard with the napkin. He's like, the napkin's sweet, too. Yeah, he thought the napkin was super sweet, and he's like, okay, there's something weird going on. He put two and two together and realized it must have been that powder that he had on his hands from the, the chemical that he spilled on it. That he didn't think to wash off before he ate with his hands. Exactly. Yeah. And it turned out to be saccharin. So what does he do? Well, he he says, I can probably make some money off this. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm under the impression that he he shut out Remsen. So what he did was Remsen was a total research. He was a total lab rat. Okay. He didn't care a thing about patents. And he was apparently fine with the idea that Fallberg went off and independently patented this. Until he, it started making money. No, until yeah. he started telling people that he was the one that created this thing, uh, that he was the senior researcher. Right. Th- then, now he's screwing with Remsen's like, lab rat status. Gotcha. And re- that's when Remsen was like, shut your mouth. Oh, so it didn't have as much to do with money than no. his rep. Exactly. Interesting. Yeah. So um, Fallberg ended up with the patent for Saccharin, and uh, years and years and years later, the 80s happened. People are all coked up. <laughs> They're looking for ways to like lose some weight, yeah. and sweet and low comes along. Yeah, it's saccharin, and it has so few calories in it. Apparently, five calories a uh, gram. That it's just listed as zero calories because you know th- those packets are a lot less than a gram. Yeah. Um, and the reason why it's non-caloric is because it's never metabolized by the body. It just goes out the way, uh, in the same form it came in. Yeah, it has zero food energy value. Yeah. Um. It's like if you were trapped freezing in the woods and you had a big bucket of sweet and low, it wouldn't be the same as if you had a big bucket of sugar. Yeah. You'd want the big bucket of sugar. Trapped in the woods with a big bucket of sugar, huh? Well, you got food energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> trapped in the woods with a big bucket of sweet and low, you're screwed. Yeah. yeah. God, can you imagine like the fuzzy jackets on your teeth <laughs> after eating a bucket of sugar in the woods? <laughs> uh, since it was um, brought on the scene, it's kind of been... Added and removed quite a few times to the you can eat this, it's fine, and it's probably not great for you list. But right now, it's in good standing. It is. It is, you know, approved. Because I remember in the late 80s, early 90s, like after everybody had been drinking it for a while, they took like a hard look at saccharin and were like, well, it may cause cancer in lab rats. I put it in my unsweet iced tea. Uh, I've seen because that's the only thing I can find that, you know, you put sugar in there and it just sinks to the bottom. What, what, yeah, what, well, that's why you have to use um, simple syrup. Yeah, or put this sugar in the hot brewed tea where right. it will melt but if or you're, dissolve. But if you're not going to do that, then use simple syrup. It's fine. It yeah. works really well. Or just drink unsweet tea, for God's sake. Uh, I'm on an unsweet tea kick right now. Really? A little lemon. Yeah, see, I like the sweet tea. Oh, or, sweet. or if I drink green tea, obviously, that's just straight up. Yeah. Not the same. Have you ever had this oolong tea? Yeah, sure. Yeah. That is something. Ooh la la. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. 